it's unstoppable, Marcus. <laughs> All right, hey, the, the first thing I'd mention to everyone is that we, we use our, our app here, it's volleyballlife.com, and if you put Mad Sand in front of that, it's madsand.volleyballlife.com, and you go to the first event on that list of events, it's this one. And so we're gonna use our, our mobile devices to keep score today. And if you do keep score with your mobile device while the game is happening, anybody here can see what the score is just by looking at the app and the service. And you can also share that link with any of your family or others that wanna see how, it's, how the tournament's going. So take your phone with you when you rep and use it for scorekeeping. Um, it's highly likely that in some pools we're not going to start with game one. There is a North Texas High School volleyball type playoffs going on right now. And there's kids traveling from like Decatur to come play. And they're the first game in your pool. And so we're likely going to skip them and skip down to the teams that are here. And so listen for your names. And we will likely start with one of those other games first, get them out of the way and just keep us on schedule. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before. If you're in pool one, you're on court one. Court one is the direction that I'm pointing. Court two is right here next to it, three, and then four is on the other side, um, opposite. So on court three and four, up above, there is a lounge. If, if you're here to watch the games and your teams are playing on court three and four, you go down to the end, there's stairs, you can go upstairs and there's couches and a lounge and you can watch from up there. Um, and if you want to stream on court three or court four, that's a good place to do to stream the game from. Um, Let's have, a, let's have a quick conversation about uh, rules. So this is match play all the way through. It's match play during pool. It's match play during the playoffs. And it is two out of three games. It's two games to 21. And it's one third game to 15. Um, and I don't like caps, so let's play until we win. I would say if you get to 30, let's cap it at 30. If you the 20 games. So play until you win. But match play, two out of three. Um, talk about a couple of rules. Obviously, there's let let serve. So if all hits and that goes over, it's, it's good. Um, I am of the school that if you open hand receive a serve, um, it absolutely has has to be super clean and and no spin on it whatsoever. And if there is any spin on it at all, it's going to be called a double. Um, a lot of tournaments don't even allow you to open and receive a serve. Um, I personally do when I facilitate tournaments, but it literally has to come out clean, and if anybody complains about it, it's a call. You know, it's not a play over or anything like that. So if you're gonna risk an open hand receive on a serve, it has to come out clean. So put your hands together and pop it up. If you're gonna do that, it's fine. But if you open hand receive a serve, the thing needs to come out like pristine, and then it's not a double. Um, speaking of doubles, while you're setting, if you set the ball in the air and it has more than two rotations on it in the air, um, that's what we'll call a double on. If it just has a little bit of a rotation on it, we'll leave it alone. In fact, I mostly stay out of your games. And as a ref, if I was repping your game, I would stay out of your game. I would tell you that you call doubles on yourself. You call doubles on the other team. You see something you don't like, you call it out. The ref confirms it or denies it. That way you can just keep playing the game and the ref can stay out of your game. But if, you're, if, you, if you are refing a game and the, and the players want you to ref their game, then that's the rule. If it's more than two spins, that's what a, a set looks like when it comes out of open hands. It's got more than two, two rotations on it. That's a double. If you, want, if you want the ref to stay out of your game, just tell them, I'll call, we'll call double. And if a team puts up a set and it doesn't look good and the other team complains about it, the ref needs to say, I confirm, that's a double. Or, or no, that was not a double to me. So, I hope that's clear. If it's not, raise your hand. Alright. Um, it's important to know that a block, if you touch the ball on a block, that counts as a touch. So it's block plus two. It's not block plus three. So if you get a touch on a block ball, that's a touch. So the next person that touches the ball, the third one has to go back over the net. Um, it's not block plus three, it's block plus two. Um, blurt out a question or a rule if you want clarity on it. Is everybody good? Nice set. Right. Nice I have set. I have a feeling there's a few teams here that are not checked in. Um, oh. Brandon Ishan, 
I've not seen you. That set Josiah, was crazy, dude. And, uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Lucas and Rishi. Akash and Ethan. Um, Mateo and Owen. Jonah and Lickett. Alright, so let's look at um, what pulls we have. I think in. Um, Mateo or Owen or Brandon and Ishan here. Match two is Lucas and Rishi. We don't have them here. Um, let's look at the 5.30 game. So Brandon and Ishan? Well, yeah, the whole pool, first pool is not, not ready to play yet. Um, Sam and Caden. So Austin and Tyler are here, so we can play first match of pool two yeah. on court two. So that can happen. The ref on that game is Cooper and Aiden, but okay, y'all got that? Okay, good. So we can get that started. We jamming them up back there. All right, pool three. No cost yet. Yes. Nate Wyeth are here. Josiah is not here. So let's go straight to match five in pool three, which is Josiah and Alex, Nate and Wyatt. So y'all are going to be up on um, on court number three, is your pool three. So that is match five, is Josiah and Alex, Nate and Wyatt, and the refs are, is Nathan Vitek. So Nathan, you're repping that. Make sure y'all are keeping scores. Yeah, Mateo. It's fine, we'll already keep, we'll keep going. Oh, that's your full one, aren't you? All right. So, so let's start with match four on court one. Um, and that's Hayden and Austin against Mateo and Owen. You all are on court one, and when you're ready. I know there's some guys playing down there, but Basically ask them if you can start warming up and, and make your play. And if you need me to ask them, let me know. Alright. Um, the rep on your game is Brandon and Ishan, but I don't think they're here yet. What? Hey Ishan, will you go rep court, court one, please? Alright, pull four. Uh, Lickett and Jonah are not here yet, correct? Ezra and Sam are here. Justin and Robbie are not. Uh, Rocco and Matthew. So, hey, we're going to play match three on court four, which is Rocco and Matthew against uh, Jack and Colin. Yes, match play, two games to 21, third one to 15. Hey, Ezra and Sam, can you rep on court floor, please? Court four, Ezra and Samuel, rep on court floor. Taylor, Garrett, what's the score on that game? Almost done. Real close? Almost yeah. done. All right.
Hey guys, real quick before we get started, let's have all boys, all boys go to court four and line up next to the net facing the lounge upstairs. We're gonna get a picture of, of all of this. Yeah. Uh, court four. Just in system play. Yeah. That's all it was. I mean, we didn't do anything cool or anything. We just literally play like together. Everything was like tight, you know, between me and you. Well, we had the right. We never just like got out of gear. Play. Yeah. We had the right chance to play with You know, Sandy Pickle is, I feel like, not as much beach volleyball, more like yeah. indoor volleyball or grass. Like a CD, you mean? Yeah. Oh, it's totally different. Yeah. Good, you? Yeah. 